Yo, what's up, homies? I am on to something very, very, I guess, revolutionary for the S12 community. I figured out, or I'm in the process of making S13 rear coilovers fit on an S12 with just cutting out a small section of the wheel weld and a hammer. That's it. Just for like mild clearance, not like major dents, but check this out. And like before I show you, please let me know if you have an S12, all S12 people, please comment on this if you see this because I want to share this knowledge if it comes out to work on my car. But what I'm about to show you looks like it might just friggin work. Like I don't have a jack. Tried to get the freaking ride height to as much as as high as possible, but look at this. Like I cut out that little piece. See if I can focus this. Yes, I cut out that little piece. Bang the walls flat-ish to an extent. I'm gonna do it more for more clearance, I guess. But like, there's no rub, mild like spacing. But I used like. I, I, I used my Raceland damper with a TN, uh, with the TN freaking spring because the Raceland coilovers diameter is a lot bigger. So this has better clearance like all around in diameter. And that's and like I use this little cap from the TN spring too. But these it's a it's like a rear front coilover like a hybrid because the rear coilovers, the coilover actually mounts or like it's actually uh, up against like the the top of the coilover that bolts to the strut tower in the rear for the S13 coilovers in the 240SX but I use the front from the TN to make it so I have the spring attached so I'm left with just this uh I can barely show you so I'm left with just this uh this like I guess this rod with thread and then I'm going to redrill a hole and I have this thick bushing and I guess I would probably get a better bushing like a polyurethane one because now it's like, look at this. I would just have to modify that or like find a bolt or like drill the holes bigger so I can get that to work. But yo, like, I really feel like if someone, like if you guys want some, dang, what the heck is that? I don't even know what that was, V8 something, but look at like, it. I know like if I drill a hole up here, it's gonna be like this cap. I don't know if I can even show you. Come on. All right, like uh, this cap will be like up here. So like it's still, I think it still have a decent amount of clearance, especially if I actually like bang around this more to get this metal to clear, it'd be straight like without, and that's the only thing, like no cuts, like, like no like modifications. Like I thought I was gonna have to weld a bracket out here to make it wider so it's straight. But as I, as I started, no jack, but as I like lifted up the car, like I noticed, I'm like, oh snap. I'm doing everything based off of like not ride height or like compressed like a uh, rear suspension. So I put that little block there because I don't have my jack. My cousin's using it to help his friend. And uh, as I put the wheel up, I noticed that, you know, this freaking weird ass Datsun like suspension, this individual suspension, as you like go up, it goes like this way. So right now, if I were to go up any more, like it would like straighten out the coilover. So this is an S13 coilover that's pretty, like not, it's not in yet. So, you know, it's not in, but you know, hole, hole to hole and a little modification up here. And that's it, and like a, and a thick bushing. So when the car bounces, you know, it pushes down on the coil, you know, so it's a, you know, it's a damper with this freaking coil around, you know, coilovers, you know. Just a little something I wanted to show you guys because I really think that this could change the game for S12 rear suspension, if, if people can just get these parts and just do it the same way that I did it, you S12 homies, my cousins, can freaking have some S13 rear coils so you guys don't have to freaking go out and buy like $800 like coils. And so you also don't have to have like, whatchamacallit, uh, what's it called? The freaking uh, sh shock and spring. You just have rear coil over just like a freaking S13 and all the other fucking chassis above that. I really think I could change, like, homies, like, I think I found, like, I don't know if some, people have probably done this, but I've searched on, like, a lot of S12 forums, mainly uh, Club uh, S12, and everyone's talking about how you have to freaking modify the tower and everything, but I really feel like I just 
freaking have I just I just found the solution to S13 rear coils and an S12 modifications using different uh, like uh, suspension parts from like a uh, different like s coil setups and stuff like that and like and I used one part which was uh, this little I, I'm sorry for this darkness this little cap right here that's actually holding the coil in place there's this little ring around here that keep, that won't let it like pass it because it like comes out but I really feel like this could change the freaking game homies like let me know what you think if anyone's on club s12 please comment and let me know what you think about this setup because I really think that I just found the solution to everyone's s12 rear suspension problems so like and subscribe homies and have a nice day